catch up to us, they're gonna knock us both out for good. You're a dead man, Doyle! You gotta be kidding me. Music, it helps me think. If you touch that again, I'll cut your paws off. Is that you or your father speaking? Because if he ever said that to you, he was wrong to do so. Looks fatal. Just say. This is gonna be awkward for you, but I think you have me confused with someone else. Stanley Westcott, chief witness in the Big Charlie Archer trial. Remember Big Charlie? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your name. My name? Jake Doyle. And don't waste your time trying to talk yourself out of this crap. Wait, I've never heard of this large Charlie fellow. I mean, do I look like a biker to you? You look like his accomplice that made a deal to testify against him and then took a run for it. Look, buddy. I was hired to find you, which I did, and take you back to St. John's, which I will. So what can I say? Stanley, sucks to be you. No, 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 I didn't defraud anyone. Oh, you didn't. I mean, you're innocent. Wow. Get in. Any word on where Jake is? None, but he's a big boy. I'm sure he can find his way here from Corner Brook. Hey, you need something, honey? I'm bored out of my skull, as you know, I'm suspended. I know, I know. You okay? No, it's such a load of crap, I can't even tell you. But I'm fine. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. She's taking more after her uncle and her grandfather. That's never a good thing. She just needs to learn to be a little more disciplined in her approach. It's all Jake's fault. Play nice. What? Do you want? I got our guy. I got Stanley Westcott. What do you want, a cookie? Just get him to town. No shagging around. What is wrong with you, aside from the obvious of you, you know, just being you? The only way we can collect that $10,000 fee is if you get him to St. John's. I got our man. It's a done deal. OK, and nobody wants that money more than me. Hey, sorry to bother you. Is that Leslie's voice? Is she there? Let me check for you. I got to take you both to the station. You know what? I'd like to see him. Drive all the way out here in the middle of nowhere to get you. You know why? Because he wouldn't. <sighs> Stanley. Mr. Doyle, I need a favor. I need you to bring Stanley Westcott back to Cornerbrook immediately. Excuse me? This is Crown Prosecutor Maria House. Look, I know you're just doing your job and that your son Jake is currently transporting him here but that can't happen. And why is that? I've just filed new charges against Big Charlie and Stanley Westcott in Cornerbrook. New charges. Charlie Archer, AKA Big Charlie, and Stanley operated two call centers, one here and one on the West Coast. Okay, so he broke laws in both cities, but why would it matter to you if he's tried in Cornerbrook or St. John's? Well, no one knows this case as well as I do, and it has to happen in my jurisdiction. So please, would you call your son? Well, um, I don't actually remember his number. It's then. Uh... This is Jake in my phone. We're not done here, so make yourselves comfortable. I need a space. You can use my office. Thank you. 26. 27. Hello? I don't want to know whatever it is. Just stop it. No, I'm just exercising, but I've only done my legs and arms. And if I don't bounce it out, I'm going to look like a triangle. 61. Work on your figure later. I need you to look into a crown prosecutor. Hey there. 
You didn't have to see this guy around, did you? He's about 60, really annoying. He's got this, oh, everyone thinks I'm guilty, but actually I'm innocent complex. Did I mention he's a massive tool? If I go back to St. John's, Big Charlie will kill me. Yeah, well, Big Charlie doesn't like it when his partners turn on him. We're not partners. I work for him. I'm just a software guy. Mm, yeah, sure you are, Pally. Come on. Take it easy. Come on. I get motion sickness. I know my rights. Well, I know your rights, too. In fact, I have a written copy on hand for situations just like this. Good, I'll show you the section I'm referring to. Now, come on, Jake! In case of emergencies. This will not help my motion sickness. Yeah, but the exhaust units will take the edge right off. Don't well, make yourself at home, why don't you? Have you ever worked with this Crown Prosecutor before? Years ago, when she was an up-and-comer, she's a maverick, and she can make life tough for all of us. Look, I know you have a history with Big Charlie. Wouldn't it be great to bring him down? Can't say that it wouldn't. Well, play nice with house, and we will. I want this for you. Jake, where are you? Just checking in. I'm on a case. I heard. Listen, there's a lot of interest with this guy you're bringing in, and we both know what Big Charlie is capable of. There's no way I'm going to run into that moron being stupid. Charlie. Jake. Jake, did you hear me? Shut up! You shut up! No, Leslie, not you, not you. Hold on. Jake! Charlie! Jake Doyle. Do we ever got some business to discuss? Nice car there, old man. Get out, Jake. I get it. It's new, but it's supposed to look old. I mean, I appreciate the design, but personally, I'm a bigger fan of the original myself. I said out. Word of advice. Next time, don't get out of your new car before the fellow you're chasing gets out of his old one. I'm gonna throw up. But don't stop. Oh, this isn't good. Hang on. Jake, Jake, did you hear me? Find Stanley Westcott. Don't worry, Miss House, I'm on it. This one's personal for me. Me and Jake go way back. Trust me when I tell you. I'll never reach you overpass. Well, he better not. Jake, can you hear me? I can hear you, shut up! He's using the radio. Idiot. Jake, I don't want to die like this. Get out first. This is how it's done. Jake Doyle, once again, you're sticking your nose into my business. What was that? Uh, just the engine settling down. Speaking of, you upgraded your two wheels to four and you got rid of the denims. I mean, the scam business must be treating you well. Easy, Tank. Tank? I don't run with the Chevaliers anymore. I'm a legit businessman now. Right, so... I know you're after Stanley Westcott and that $10,000 payday, but I'm here to tell you that it's in your best interest to not get involved. That kind of sounds a bit like a threat. Look, I don't know what you've heard about Stanley, but he can't be trusted. He's trying to pin this call center crap on me. I just want to ask him why. And you brought Tank along to take notes, did you? Look, just tell us where Stanley is. We can clear this whole thing up. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but if I come across a fellow named Stanley or whatever, I'll give you a call. Remember what I told you. He can't be trusted. He's not going to give up. Leslie. Phone. Now. Hey, where are you off to? We should do something. I'm just uh, about to run to work. Well, work for later. I mean, not that you couldn't relate. I mean, you know, you will work again, you know, just not Des, this week. I'm suspended, not fired. Relax. Jake. Des, I need you to look into Charlie Archer. Find anything you can on him. Big Charlie, the biker? 
Yeah, he shifted gears and now he's you know behind the scamming of some call center. Just get on it right away. How tinny. Did you really just say that to me? I'm on it. Not Tinny. The call center. Bye. A case? I'm in. I'm not really sure I feel comfortable. Somehow I feel like this is going to get me into trouble. If I don't do something, I'm going to lose my mind. Mm, fine. But if Jake catches us, I don't know you. OK. So uh, who's Leslie? Girlfriend? Wife? Noticed a lot of calls from her. Uh, want my advice? I don't. You should talk more. Most of your calls only lasted a couple of minutes in all those texts. So impersonal. Oh, my God. Well, seriously. I mean, if she means something to you, you got to work for it. We're both busy, OK? She's a cop, and I got my own cop. Wait, 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 wait. We're so not talking about this. Even still, you're lucky. All these years, I never met the right one. Buddy, I'm not your therapist, OK? I didn't take this gig to sit here and listen to you. Maybe someday when I'm cleared of all charges. You took a deal to testify against Charlie Archer, and then you ran away with a boatload of money. You're guilty. You might as well deal with that. You think whatever you want, but all I ever did was work for him. So what did you do, anyway? He paid me to write a few lines of code and optimize the credit card charging process. Optimize the best way to rip a bunch of innocent people off. No, I was always clean, but can the uh, script be used to automatically make extra charges on the customer's credit card? Yes. Do you actually have any real evidence against this guy, or is it just your word against his? Oh, I've got evidence, I can tell you that. I can also tell you that if we don't stop soon, we're going to have a problem. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, you're disgusting. Shut down. Oh, no, that's OK. There's still some computer equipment left here that I can access. See, if I can find some traces of some old code, I might be able to see what Stanley was up to. You look really amazing, by the way. I'm just it's suspension. It, it, it really suits you. Thanks, Desi. You're looking pretty fit yourself. Yeah? So how's um, Grayson doing, by the way? He's planning a trip for us to meet his folks. I think it's too soon, though. What do you think? Oh, well, I, I, I think that you... Someone's coming. OK, but remember, discretion. Excuse me, sir, can I have a word or two? Oh, Timmy, not the badge. Hello? What have you found out on house? Uh, not much. Almost zero. What have you been doing? Jake needed me to do a thing. Oh, well, if Jake needed you to do something, then well... Yeah, I knew you'd understand. No, I don't understand. What did you find out on house? OK, details are scanty, but I did learn that house brought charges against Big Charlie four times. How'd those cases go? All mistrials. Odd. Keep looking into house. I'll be in touch. OK. I wonder where Jake is. Yeah? Crown prosecutor Maria House wants Stanley returned to Corner Brook. Something about new charges. We think she wants to rig the case. She has a history of Miss Charles with old Charlie. She's not the only one. I mean, Charlie's after him, too. I'm telling you, there's more going on here than this whole thing about Stanley testifying. Where are you at now? The goobies and I'm almost home, which is good, because aside from you, Dad, this fella Stanley is one of the most annoying people I've ever met in my entire life. Conduct yourself accordingly. Tinny does not need to see any more of this kind of behavior from you. So that's what this is about. Tinny being suspended. Look, this is your fault, all right? You're the patriarch. This crap flows from the top. I'm not the one who can't get someone from point A to point frickin' B. Oh, I can get him there. You want to make a bet? OK. I'll bet you the full commission you can't get him to the police station by end of day. Now. 10,000 bucks. Easy money for me, old man. Is that Jake? Yep. Jake? Stanley, where are you running to? You got to stop running away from me. We've been through this before, like 20 minutes ago, in fact. All this crazy driving, I get disoriented, and I don't have my motion sickness bill. Right. Turns out you're a very popular guy. You're wanted in Cornerbrook now. Whole slew of new charges. Oh, well, not me. That's all Big Charlie. Right. Well, I don't care, because our destination is St. John's. That's where my payday is, whether you like it or not. Final warning. I do get extreme bouts of motion sickness. Oh, my god. You're like dealing with a six-year-old. Come here. Give me your arm. Is this really necessary? Uh, yes, it is necessary. Because I don't trust you.
may cause drowsiness. Good. Come on. Odd of your old man to gamble with you like this. Father's supposed to instill a moral compass. So I suppose your old man was a uh, was perfect, was he? Pretty close. Until my mom died. I was only nine. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. My mother died when I was young, too. It's okay. I ended up turning to the bottle for a bit of comfort. Couldn't blame him for that. Likely why I never had kids. So is this Leslie someone that you uh, see bearing children with? Would you just take those pills? In fact, take all of them if you can, now. These make you sleepy. You could have gotten the daytime ones, you know? Yeah, I know. What is going on? How ironic. We were just at a gas station. Breathe on me. Excuse me, but... Oh, my God, you reek of gas. What the hell? Did you siphon all the gas out of my car? I'm sorry. I can't go to St. John's. <sighs> I think it's time that we got out of the car and you got a little bit of exercise. You think house is giving up? Doubt it. Clever. House heard everything. A little help would be great. No, no, you gotta work up a sweat. Get all the gasoline out of your pores. Sorry, I gotta take this. Don't worry, I'm headed back to town at a full clip. House knows your location. She might be sending someone after you. Doesn't matter, okay? I'm definitely gonna win this bet. See this man? Hang on for a second. This looks bad. Toby Quinton. We went to the police academy to get her. Dear God, you were a cop? What are you doing? Get in. Toby Quinton? Jeez, what? Oh. Come here. What are you, what are you doing? Look, not a lot of time to talk. See that guy right there? He's coming for you, OK? He wants Stanley. Oh, I'm Jake. You do. He's in your car, you idiot. It's in my car? Yeah. OK, look. Hey, boys, how you doing? That is Big Charlie Archer. He is very dangerous. You gotta take him down. Listen to me. I'll get Stanley to safety. Go now. But Jake, I can't. I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about. Jake, we need to talk. Give me your keys, quick. I'll get Stanley away. Go, go. Ah, uh, sir, I'm gonna ask you to step back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to talk to Jake. You gotta do something. Do something. Give me the keys. Shut up. Hey, I am an officer of the freaking court. You do not push me. Quentin, keys. Quentin, keys. Here. All right. Ah, uh, down on your knees now. Please, before someone gets hurt. Been a mistake. I just, I just need to talk to Jake. That wasn't nice what you did to that sheriff. You confused him. No, he's easily confused. And trust me, he's not such an angel, OK? He was the biggest bully in our class at the academy. Huh. If I was you, I'd take a look in the mirror, my friend. The hell's that supposed to mean? You might see a little bully staring back at you. That's what it means. Look at this. Standard sheriff dash camera. Is it recording? Not anymore. So destructive. Excuse me. Dad, you were right. House sent the sheriff after us, but we gave him the slip. Good. By stealing his car. Not so good. Pressure of this bet is getting to you. The sheriff was Toby Quinton. Quinton? Is that the guy that flunked the RNC cadet program like three times? Yeah, and I was there for the last go-around. He hates my guts. I wonder why. The point is, he's not going to report it because it'll make him look stupid. House says it's to make sure he gets convicted, but to send a sheriff after you? You mentioned she was a part of some other trial involving Big Charlie, right? Maybe she's been paid to throw the trials. There's something more going on here. Just keep me posted. Will do. Oh, and son, tick tock. <sighs> He is unnecessarily hard on you. Do you have an off switch? Let's go. Mal, you're not going anywhere. House is charging you both with obstruction of justice. Oh, I'm sorry. You're under arrest. 
What are you doing anyway? I found the bank account where the extra credit card charges are being sent to. Now, it's just a matter of finding which bank and running a code tracker to get the pin, and then Bob's your uncle. I gotta say, that's pretty impressive. I am very funny. No, I'm serious, Des. You do a good job. Really? Wow, I'm so used to your sarcasm, but your compliments, they feel unnatural. Really? I mean, you're talented. I'm lucky. We're all lucky to have you around. And I'm starting to see that more and more. Thank you. Aren't you gonna get that? Nah, it's just Grayson. He'll call back. Isn't that it? Huh? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. And now to use the pin to open the account. It's empty. Are you sure it's the right account? Yeah, the, the money was deposited of 1.5 million, but it's since been withdrawn. We need to find out who withdrew it. Morning, Bass. That's in the opposite direction. So we're not going to St. John's. Oh, buddy, we're going to town. But Quentin doesn't need to know that. So you want the sheriff to find the information? You're a smart guy. Did you learn that from your dad? He can't be all bad. He's not that bad. I can see that. I've been working with my dad a long time, OK? I've learned a lot from him. You, wait, wait, why am I, how do you keep doing this to me? And we're not talking about this. It sounds like you did OK for a single parent. That motorcycle, that's from one of the Chevaliers. That means that Charlie's got the Chevaliers after us. Come on. Motorcycles are death on wheels. No way, I draw the line here. I'm not... You look very manly, but get on. What? what the hell? Hey, it's me. Uh, don't, don't be mad, but I lost them. But I got it under control. You are an idiot, Quinton. You really are. Don't call me that! I need that phone. Malachi Doyle, you give me Stanley Westcott and I will drop the obstruction charges. I wish I could help you. What are you doing? You're under a lot of stress. I get that. This hasn't been easy for any of us. You need a hug. Come on. Come on. Here you go. That's it. Yeah. All right. See? Isn't that better? <sighs> But I believe I've made my point. Um, give me Westcott, and you can go. The same, that was pretty hot. You think that was hot? Check this out. All of this forced air isn't good for my sensitive duodeno. Do not throw up on my back, Stanley. I can't help it, it's coming up. Go for the... Get away from me. Uh. Yeah, what's happening? Well, first off, House wants to charge us with obstruction. Now I see where Tinny gets it, from you. Shut it. We have something on House. Seems she's had several email money transfers in the past number of weeks. They're all for the same amount, $1,100, and uh, it looks like they're going into a business account. You think that big Charlie's been paying off house? Not sure, but it seems strange that she's putting it into a business account and not some untraceable one. But it does explain why house wants Stanley so bad. Big Charlie's paying house to pin this all on Stanley. You're definitely onto something, okay? So just stay on house. Well, no. In the meantime, son, I know this, this waiter is taking his toll on you. You're off your game. There's no shame in backing out right now. Well, a little shame, but <laughs> you're used to that. Not a chance, old man, okay? I am nearly home free. Stanley! Did you see that? Why did you do this? I told you, Jake, I'm not going to St. John's. That motorcycle was owned by those bikers, okay? When they get over here, they're... We need to find out what House is doing, and I think I know how. Sorry, guys. Uh, I need to take you to get processed. What? Daniel, we need to see Leslie. Now. Don't you think? I'm 
motorcycle would have come in handy right about now. I told you I get motion sickness. But I see your point, and I got a bad knee, so not so fast. Oh, come on! Hey, hey, Give me that. Well, do something. That's your plan? You're going to call in air support? Something like that. I'm proud of you, son. Feels good, doesn't it? Come on. You know, if I had a son, Jake, I'd like him to be like you. OK, I was able to get the bank manager to go through the security footage to see what through the money. They're sending the image over now. Wow, you must have been pretty persuasive. They never do that. Tinny, you used your badge again. You can't be at it. It's OK, don't worry about me. And maybe the badge doesn't fit. What? I mean, it's in my blood to be a PI, right? And we make a good team. Oh, ah, there it is. There it is. Stanley Weska. I gotta call Jake. Yes, Jake, leave a message. Jake, Jake, Stanley took the money. I miss you. You need a better service provider. I meant what I said. I wish I had a son. Through all this, it brings on a lot of regrets. Right, why do I feel some big, you know, confession coming on? I have regrets, Jake, in my personal life, but I'm innocent. These charges are against me. I don't care. And you know what? I know there's an entire other reason why you're trying to get away from me. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, it's Big Charlie. Just... Charlie, good news. I found your guy, but he took a bit of a runner. Get him, Tank. Very disappointed, Jake, that you didn't take my advice. Uh, you'd be surprised how often I hear that. Well, you know, I admire your determination, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you $15,000 to walk away. That's $5,000 more than you stand to make turning Stanley in. Something tells me you're just not going to take no for an answer. Let me get the cash. That was Jake. You're really sticking it to him. You know, it's just transference. He's not responsible for Tinny's suspension. 
I know, dear, but it's just such a great stress reliever. $10,000 is a lot of money. You know Jake's the best. You might just win the bet. I'm counting on it. Malik, you are you getting soft on me? He needs the money right now. I can't just give it to him. He'd never take it. Hey, 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 what's this? Survey. House commissioned an opinion poll to see if she'd win her district in a provincial election. She's running for office? Is the PI business that bad? Okay, look, for the last time, you knocked yourself out. I wouldn't hit you. Jake, Jake, Stanley took the money. I miss you. You did scam the money from the call center. You lied to me. I didn't scam anyone except Charlie. The code sent the stolen client's money to his account. So what, you stole from him? Well, my plan was to return it and testify against him. I told the Crown I had solid evidence against me, Charlie, for all of it. But you don't have any evidence? Another lie. I manufactured evidence, but his lawyer will blast holes through it. And once the Crown finds out I don't have proof, Big Charlie will walk and I'll go to jail for a crime I didn't commit. You know what? None of this is my problem anyways, okay? All I gotta do is just get you to St. John's. You okay, buddy? Yeah, I'm just a little drowsy. Did you drug me? I told you to get the daytime ones. A month ago, Stanley Westcott withdrew the bilk money from a bank in Bay Roberts and then was picked up an hour and 15 minutes later at Gooby's. The police never found the money on him, which means he stashed it somewhere in between. True, but he wasn't planning on getting caught, so chances are he hid the money before the cops grabbed him, which means the money is somewhere in Gooby's. I'm gonna text Jake and, and let him know. So, still alive? Yeah, I was just helping Des with something. I was able to switch some shifts around, and now I'm off tomorrow, which means we can leave tonight. As long as there's nothing stopping you. No. Unless you need me. Mm, nah, we've done all we can now. It's up to Jake. Great. Well, I'll uh, pick up from your place in an hour. Bye. Great. What are you doing? Jake, I'm truly sorry. I really wish I could let you take me in and get that money. Hey, 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 take it easy. Told you he was trouble. Leslie. Jake, are you okay? It kind of feels like you've been avoiding me all day. Oh, I'm good. You know what? I really love you. I love you. Uh, Jake? Looks like it's my lucky day. Quinn? You had me headed out to Port of Basque. It's just beautiful there this time of year. No, it's not. You want to get out of the car? Idiot. I was, uh, I was drugged. Gotta tell you, Jake, I've been dreaming about this moment for a long time. You realize how creepy that sounds? Here you are. Literally gift wrapped for me. I think the word you're looking for is figuratively, but whatever. You have been a thorn in my side for a long time, Jake. If you're thinking about trying something, I know I'm a little messed up, but don't forget I can still kick your... No! Man, that felt great. Oh. Uh, ah. Uh. Under arrest for DUI. Yeah, a bunch of things wrong with that. I wasn't drunk and I wasn't driving. Details. Oh, and you're not a cop. Thanks to you. We would have made it that last time, guaranteed. So that one little hiccup. Hiccup? You shot our instructor in the foot. You told me it was empty. You looked me in the eyes. You said, Quentin, the clip is empty. I said, the clip was empty, but there's one in the chamber. You see, if you want to be a cop, you got to check those things. That's my dream, Jake. Real law enforcement. You're trying to ruin my life again. You know, the whole stealing your car thing, that was Stanley's idea. Yeah, and you were directly responsible for wrecking two others. Now I have to use my supervisor's car. This is your supervisor's car? Uh... 
Oh, God. What's going on back there? I just, I get motion sickness whenever I'm in the back seat. Remember that time after that party I threw up in your car? That was you? Better not throw up in my boss's car. I'll try not to, but, oh, you're not giving me any other choice. Toby. Get out and get in the front. Don't try anything or I'll shoot you in the foot. Oh, that would be very poetic. I can't. Oh, my God, Quentin. What did you do to the door? Oh, no, what? You'll be all right. Hello. Stanley says that you know where the stash is. But in case it's another one of his lies, I need you to bring it to me. When you do, you can have Stanley back. I won't be needing him anymore. It turns out that he's got nothing on me. All right, fine. Meet me at the Gooby's gas station. We'll do the exchange there. Breaking into my briefcase? What were you thinking? I am a crown attorney. Do you have any idea? Don't, don't even think about it, Mal. I'm sorry, I have to. It's not like we can get in any more trouble. Jake. Tell your son. No problem. We'll send help soon. Everything OK? It's going to be Leslie. Jake's going to text you an address. OK. Sergeant, hold on. I want Stanley Westcott, or you're going to jail. I don't think you're going to be charging us with anything. He's right. So stop playing politics. Huh? Would you give us a second? This was really informative. So I throw my hat in the political ring. Happens all the time. It's not illegal. No, but obstructing a case to score points in your writing is. High-profile case where you're in the news every day can only help in an election bid. Hmm. Well, looks like it's my word against yours on that. True. But we do know about those individual campaign contributions all for the same maximum amount. Again, nothing legal about that. But I think the press is going to have a field day with this story. You've made your point. Oh, one more thing. Jake needs you to make a call. You okay, Stanley? I don't see my money. Relax, you get it. I know where it is. All right, Stanley. All right, head over Stanley. Fine with me, take him. He's going to jail after the trial anyway. Although, according to him, this is actually really his money, seeing as he was behind the entire scheme. <laughs> what? Yeah, Stanley said you were just the muscle, as usual. This whole thing was his idea. That's why his testimony is crap. He had nothing on you. I didn't tell you that, Jake. I didn't tell him that. Yeah. This idiot, he talks a lot. Trust me, he just designed the code. He didn't know that me and my gang were gonna use it to steal clients' money. I hand it over now. Oh, hey, perfect timing. Stanley here will be awaiting trial from a jail cell. No. I think you're the one who's going to jail, you see? There's a little camera there on the dashboard of this police car. And it kind of caught your whole confession. Did you get all that, Quinton? Loud and clear. Got it all on tape. Afternoon, fellas. Let you slip away once today, but not again. What is this? Shut it. That's what it is. I want you two to cuff yourselves together, get down on your knees. You got this, Quinn? Oh, I'm more than got this. Listen, with all your help here, I'll talk to the cops. Maybe we'll get another shot at the academy. You're not going anywhere, Jake. I'll shoot your tires out. Is he serious? Oh, I'm more than serious. Remember, I told you, you always gotta check. Chamber. The chamber. That's where the bullets go, buddy. Let's go get that $10,000. Thanks for bringing my car back. This isn't over, Jake! We hit the overpass pretty soon. You're gonna win this bet. What are you doing? Go on, get out before I change my mind. You're a good man, Jake. 
Sweet gesture, but unnecessary. We have the evidence. Big Charlie's going to be going down. I'm not. Hey, sure. I mean, you can stay on the run until all the charges are dropped. I'm sure you deserve the payday. Thanks for everything. Thank you for an interesting road trip. <laughs> well, the best part is all those people get their money back. Now, I know you don't want to hear this, but uh, you should really call your girlfriend. Yeah, if I still have one. I hope your father is proud of you, Jay. He is. And Stanley, I hope someday you get a family of your own. <laughs> I lied about that. I have three sons, two daughters, all in university. Very successful. Unbelievable. Thanks. Hi, Sergeant Bennett. Tinny. You know my name. We're both off duty here. Yeah, well, I've been off duty all week. But you already knew that. You got a lot of potential, but you're still a rookie. And you're developing a bit of an attitude. If you say so, Sarge. Cut it out and quit acting like a rebel. The Force has no place for it. So think long and hard about your future. You'll have a good one if you don't mess it up. Hey, I thought you were leaving with Grayson. Are you okay? I wasn't feeling too hot. Well, you look hot. I'll see you guys. Is she okay? I think so. Come on back here. Tell me again how you see the day. Well, son, I'm impressed. And the back is the best. You get the full fee. You know, either you're getting soft in your old age, or you wanted me to win that bet. No, Jake. You needed the cash, you won the bet fair and square. Whoa. Sorry. Jake. Uh, meet Inspector Smallwood. Sir, you're the Jake Doyle, huh? Heard a lot about you. Yeah, well. I've never heard of you, so nice to meet you. Inspector, uh, have a drink on us. Yeah, sure. Why not? Ned will set you up all the way over there. Thanks, Malachi. Think I will. See you around, Doyle. What a tool. This is why you've no friends. You're lucky to have Leslie. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, hello, Leslie Bennett. How are you? Hello, Leslie. It doesn't feel so good when you got someone hanging up on you all the time, does it? No. No, it feels awful and terrible, and I'm... I'm really, really sorry about that. How about I make it up to you? I'll take you to a really nice, quiet place, very close, like upstairs, and we can... we can make out. No.